Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video, I'm going to give you guys yet another Final Cut Express tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can create a basic audio fade out inside of Final Cut Express. So what I'm basically going to be showing you is how to take an audio file or a video file with audio, and I'm going to show you guys how to apply audio fades inside of Final Cut Express. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So as you see over here, I have a little test video file, so if I go ahead and launch that up and play it. Okay, so I just use this as a little test of if I can fade in audio and video inside of Final Cut Express. Alright, thanks for watching. So as you see here, that was just a little clip that I took and recorded with my webcam. So what I basically want to do in that is I want to take it in with Final Cut Express and fade in the audio and fade it out. So to go ahead and do that, we want to go ahead and open up Final Cut Express. And as you see here, I have my little video file in the media bin right here. So I just take that, drag it into the timeline. And as you see here, I have my video and then I have my audio. So to go ahead and start with this, first thing we need to do is we need to go in and click on this little arrow right here. Then click on Show Audio Waveforms, which will basically show the waves so you can tell where the audio gets lower and where it gets higher. Next thing you want to do is click this little thingy right here, which is Toggle Clip Overlays. Click on that, which will basically bring up this line right here where you can go ahead and go ahead and adjust the line. And I like to keep it sort of in the center right there. So once we've gone ahead and done that, what you want to do is go over here and grab the pen tool. Then you want to go ahead and take the cursor and move this thing over to where you want your fade to start. So I want my fade to start right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the toggle overlay with the pen tool. And then I want the fade to stop. So I want the fade to stop sort of around here. Now, as you see, if I go over these little marks I made with the pen tool, you'll see I have this little mark right here. So if I click and drag that down, as you'll notice, it'll make this little line, which will toggle the clip overlays, which will basically be your fade. So it'll start from here with nothing, and then it'll go up the line and fade all the way up to here. So once that's done, all we need to do is go here to File, Save Project. Test Audio Fade, that's fine for me. I click Save. Then I'm going to go to Sequence, Render Selection... Uh, I'll do both and just wait for it to render. So once everything renders out, then we'll be able to play it. And so now it's all rendered out. So as you see here, let me just minimize this. If we go to the desktop, as you see here, I have my Final Cut project. So now that we have that done, we have everything saved. I can go ahead and start from the beginning and play it. Okay, so I just use this as a little... And as you see here, it faded in and then it faded out. Now I can go ahead and adjust this even further so I can make another fade to be like this. And I can go ahead and play that. Okay, so I just use this as a little test of... Or I could fade this in all the way up to the top. So it could be like this. Okay, so I just use this as a little... I could even go down. Okay, so I just use this as a little... Test and as you see here, button. we're adding in basically a fade. So you can go ahead and uh, customize this any way you want to. You can make it fade into the beginning and then fade out towards the end of the clip. And basically you can even combine this with video transitions such as, let's say cross dissolve. So if I do a cross dissolve effect in the beginning. Wait. If I do a cross dissolve effect in the beginning, it'll dissolve and okay. then it will fade in. And so basically you can go ahead and play with this effect any way you want to. Then you can just go ahead and export it. You can either export it as just a basic QuickTime movie or you can use the QuickTime conversion. And you can go to options and choose any of your video settings. I'm just going to keep it the same. Click save. And I'll name this as test blah blah blah. Click save. And it will go ahead and export my video. And once that's done, it'll be here on my desktop. As you see, I open it up. Okay, so I just use this as a little And as you see here, my audio button. was fading in and then fading out. So basically, that's how you do it, guys. That's how you go ahead and create a basic audio fade inside of Final Cut Express. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.